what's up guys so today i've got my hands on the brand new tick watch atlas by mobvoi now i've been testing this watch for a few weeks now and in this video i will share with you everything you need to know about this super smart watch roll the intro all right so first of all you've got your paperwork inside the box you've got a magnetic charger with a usb a connector and the smartwatch itself. Now you can pick this watch up for 329 pounds or 349 US dollars. Now let's talk design. The bezel is made from aluminium alloy. The rest of the body is made from stainless steel. And on the back, they've used a nice smooth nylon material. Now this watch is a super tough 5 ATM waterproof smartwatch with military standard 810H durability. And you have sapphire crystal glass on top now the watch feels very rugged and durable and does have some weight to it so the tick watch atlas is 52.2 millimeters in diameter with a 12 millimeter thickness and it weighs around 82 grams with the straps on and if you take the straps off the watch itself weighs only 47.2 grams now you do have time markings going all the way around the watch with the words menu finished in orange You've got two round buttons on the side, including a rotatable crown button used for scrolling the menus. And when you scroll, you do feel some light haptics, which feel pretty good to use. And just underneath that, you can see a microphone hole. On the other side, we have no buttons, but slightly underneath, you will see a large speaker grill. Now at the back of the watch, you can see all your health sensors housed in the middle. The TickWatch Atlas features an accelerometer, gyroscope, a PPG heart rate sensor, SpO2 skin temperature sensor, off-body sensor, barometer, and a geomagnetic sensor. On the side, you can see pogo pins for charging. So I'll quickly show you the charger in action. So it's a magnetic USB-A charger, which clips on the back of the watch and does support fast charging. So a 30 minute charge can get you from zero to 65%, which is pretty decent. Now the straps are made from a silicone material with a nice textured finish on the top with metal buckle. And underneath you can see a plain design finished with these horizontal ridges. The straps are 24 millimeters in size and they do feature a quick release. So you can replace these with any 24 millimeter third party strap. And this is how the TickWatch Atlas looks on my wrist. So no doubt it's a large watch and it has some size and heft to it. Now, in case you're wondering, I have a wrist circumference of seven inches. And although it looks on the larger side, it does feel quite comfortable on my wrist. Now, I have been wearing this watch for extended periods um, without the need of taking it off, thanks to a very decent battery life. And I have felt no discomfort whatsoever. So a nicely designed watch, very comfortable on the wrist. Yes, it has a bit of size and weight to it, but the straps are also very comfortable. Now, let's talk battery life. The watch has a 628 milliamp hour battery. Now that is actually the largest battery we have ever seen in a Google Wear OS smartwatch. It's got a bigger battery than the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra and a bigger battery than the Apple Watch Ultra 2. And Mobvoi promises around 40 hour battery life, which I would say is quite accurate. I was easily achieving four days of battery life with this watch. And I will share my usage scenario. So with all the health features switched on, that's continuous heart rate monitoring. So the watch monitors heart rate every 10 minutes, 24 hours. I also had continuous SpO2 monitoring on, which monitors my SpO2 once every hour. Continuous stress monitoring, I switched it off. I don't need that. Automatic sleep tracking was on and my respiratory rate and temperature would also be tracked at the same time continuously throughout the night. Now, always on display, I kept off because you have that dual display technology anyway. I don't need the AMOLED AOD on. So based on that, easy four day battery life. And I also did one 30 minute daily workout as well. So that should give you a rough idea on what to expect from the battery life. Charging speeds are also amazing. As I mentioned earlier, this is a fast charger. 30 minutes can get you from zero to 65%, which is amazing. All right, so moving on to the display and the dual display technology is what TickWatch are known for. So you have a 1.43 inch AMOLED always on display with an ultra low powered display sandwiched on top, designed to give you the best of both worlds 
So full AMOLED Android when you need it and an ultra low powered display at all other times when you just want to see the basics like stats, time, date, step counter and the ultra low power display also supports third party apps now. So you can have third party app metrics showing on this uh, low power display too. Now this smartwatch is quite powerful. It's running the Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1, which is a four nanometer quad core clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. Now combine that with two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage, and you have yourself a powerful Android phone on your wrist. Now, if we talk about software, the TicWatch Atlas is running Wear OS version four. And I believe most of the previous gen tick watches have now all also been updated to version four of Wear OS, which is good news. The smartphone app is called Mobvoi Health, giving you a detailed insight of your daily health metrics, activities, and workouts. Now you can tap to see detailed reports of any of these metrics and everything is laid out very conveniently and easy to read. Under the device section, you will have access to many features, including watch faces. And as this is a Wear OS watch, you can download thousands of watch faces directly from the Play Store. Now from this app, you can also customize the tiles. So when you swipe left or right, you will see tiles and all of these tiles can be rearranged to your own personal preference. You can do this directly from the watch or from the smartphone. And under settings, you can actually fine tune every aspect of this smartwatch. And again, all of these settings are also available directly on the watch for convenience. Now under the account section, you've got your profile, you can set your personal goals, but you also have third party integration. So you can connect to apps like Google Fit and Strava if you need to do so. And speaking of compatibility, this is a Wear OS smartwatch based on Android. So unfortunately, it's not going to work with any iPhone out there, but you can of course connect to any Android phone. So wide compatibility with Android phones, but no iOS compatibility. Now let's talk watch faces. This smartwatch has a number of watch faces built in. To change the watch face, you just keep the center press for a few seconds. The screen will zoom out slightly and then you can basically swipe left or right to select a different watch face. And you have plenty of watch faces built in. And here are a few examples of some of my favorite watch faces that you get with this watch. Now, some of the watch faces can be customized. You can see an edit button underneath the watch face. You'll be able to change the colors, the layout and the complications. So really nice customizable watch faces as you would expect from a Wear OS smartwatch. Now, I actually use something called Time Show. Um, it takes that watch face experience to another level. It was, it's a free app and it will give you access to thousands and thousands of watch faces. You, and then you can download really nice looking watch faces like this one here. And that was a free watch face, guys. Doesn't that look nice? And this is another one of my favorite watch faces there. Minimal look, but it looks really nice. So yeah, you're spoiled for choice. When you buy a Wear OS smartwatch, you are spoiled for choice. All right, guys, now it's time to go through the watch features. If you swipe down from the top, you've got your quick toggles for common settings like torch, alarms, do not disturb, shortcuts to main settings, brightness, etc. If you swipe up from the bottom, you have your notifications. Now these are all pushed from your phone and you can actually reply directly from the watch. So you can reply to your emails, your text messages, your WhatsApp messages, your social media posts. You can reply directly from the watch. And here are your options there. You can reply with emoji, you can use your voice or you can type. Show you what the keyboard looks like and I'll briefly type just to give you a taste of this. So, so if you imagine this watch is on my wrist secure and I'm just gonna type in hello. 
Okay, you can see I spelled it totally wrong, but you have an autocorrect at the top. Tap it and there you go. I'll spell another word. And so I'm just trying to type as naturally as I would if I was wearing the watch. So let's carry on typing. R space U. So you do get the hang of it the more you use the watch. Now, if you swipe towards the left or the right, you will see your health tiles. Starting off with tick health showing you your health at a glance with step counter, exercise minutes and active hours. If you tap on it, you can then see detailed reports of your daily activities, um, which is quite cool. Um, lots of information there. And you can tap on individual metrics to see more information, right? If we swipe again, you've got your continuous heart rate monitoring. So as long as you're wearing the watch, it will measure your heart rate. If you take it off, obviously the monitoring will stop. If we swipe again, you've got your SpO2. Again, all day SpO2, tapping this, will give you an immediate manual reading, which I'm gonna just cancel. Uh, if we swipe again, you've got your sleep tracking. I wasn't wearing this watch last night, unfortunately, so I haven't got a result there to show you, but otherwise it would show you your most recent sleep tracking. Swipe again, you've got your stress monitoring. You've got your sun tiles. So it tells you how long the sun is gonna set in. If we keep going, you've got alarms, so you can set new alarms here, and you can set quick timers, and then that will take you back to the watch face. If you swipe towards the right, you'll see the same tiles in reverse order. If we short press the crown button, it will bring out all the apps. Now let's quickly go through them together. We've got alarms, calculator, calendar, contacts, easy voice recorder, essential mode, find my phone, Gmail, Google wallet, Google home, internet browser, Google maps, media controls, messages, mini news, mob void privacy, mob void treadmill, one tap measurement, phone so you have the google play store so you can download your favorite apps and also tons of watch faces um, you've got prayer times that's just an app i downloaded you've got settings spotify stopwatch tick barometer tick breathe tick care tick compass tick exercise tick health timer time show and then you've got torch weather whatsapp i downloaded and youtube music i also downloaded so yes you can connect to your whatsapp and you can actually initiate whatsapp calls and messages directly from the watch and that rotating crown is so awesome to use. One tap measurement is quite quite a neat feature. If you tap on it, okay, and then hit start, it's gonna measure your heart rate, your blood oxygen, your respiratory rate, st and stress all at the same time. So you can see heart rate is already there in real time. Blood oxygen levels, 98%, and it states it's normal. Stress, so, and you can see the respiratory rate and my stress levels, low thankfully. Okay, so now we're gonna do a bunch of real-time simultaneous tests, starting off with a heart rate test. This is my Braun oximeter. So you just wear it on your finger and within a few seconds, we will see an accurate heart rate and blood oxygen reading. Now we're gonna compare this reading, which is medical grade sensor versus the tick watch and we see how close we can get. So the tick watch is measuring my heart rate right now. The oximeter is already giving me 91 beats per minute. 94, 94, 96, 98. You can see they're actually quite neck and neck. 99, 100, both 99. 95, 95. Wow. Guys, this is pretty much neck and neck and I hope you guys can see this. If I lift my arm slightly, just raise it. You can see they are neck and neck. 92, 92. This oximeter is fast. In real time, it can keep up with my changes in my heart rate the watch is doing equally good. So very good heart rate sensor in the Tick Watch Atlas. Now we're gonna test the SpO2. So once again, we are measuring and I have to keep absolutely still for the watch to give us a precise reading. And over here, you can see the Braun has given us 98% SpO2. So let's see what the watch gives us. All right, we've got 98% on the watch as well. How cool is that guys? So bottom line, the TickWatch Atlas is the latest addition to Mobvoi's TickWatch range of smartwatches. And the key takeaways are the powerful Snapdragon W5 Plus processor, sapphire crystal glass, military standard durability, rugged design and build quality, 5 ATM waterproof, beautiful dual display technology with a very nice AMOLED display. The ULP display is also quite advanced, showing you many health metrics and even now supporting third party fitness data. Rotating crown is a treat to use. It's nice and large. And I love the haptics that you get every time you scroll the menus. You have a great battery life. You have the biggest battery we have ever seen in a Wear OS smartwatch.
Fast charging is also pretty awesome. The smartphone app is also very well laid out and informative. The side top button over here can also be customized to open any app you like. And the watch overall is pretty jam packed with health features. If you're wondering how the TicWatch Atlas ranks in my top smartwatch performance chart of 2024, well, I have ranked the TicWatch Atlas at number two. And my reasons are, it's one of the most powerful Wear OS smartwatches thanks to the Snapdragon chipset, giving you the best battery life, the most unique dual display technology, along with great health tracking and a very nice Wear OS 4 software experience. That's all for this video. Any questions, you guys know what to do. Meanwhile, if you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews, hit the like button, sub to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.